In this video, I'm going to run through uh, really quickly one of the tutorials that we covered in class, which is building a robot using basic shapes in Illustrator. So I'm going to start with some really basic elements here just using the shape tool. I'm going to begin just with a rectangle. I went ahead and opened a new document. If you'd like to see how to do that, just look at the first of the Illustrator tutorials in this playlist. I'm going to go ahead and drag this one out. Uh, right now it's white. It has a black stroke around the edge. I'm going to use the parameters up at the top uh, to alter that. I'm going to remove the stroke using the None option, which is white with the red line through it. So now I have just this basic shape and uh, no stroke around the edge. Now I'm going to go over back to the Shape tool, click and hold down, and get the Ellipse tool from it. And I'm going to hold Shift while I drag this out to make sure that my I don't actually get an oval. I want a perfect circle. So if I want an oval, I can just drag it out any way I want. If I want a perfect circle, I hold Shift. So I'm going to drag that out. And then going back to my Arrow tool, which is always my default position, I am going to resize the circle to make it fit flush with both edges. Almost there. Now I have to zoom in because it seems to be misbehaving. There we go. Move it down just a bit. It's not perfect, but it's going to get me by. Go ahead and pull this up just a little bit. All right, here is my basic setup and you can see right now it's all on layer one if I look at my layers palette over here on the side I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer and double clicking on the name I'm gonna rename it to eyes just to make sure it's always above I'm gonna go back to the shape tool grab the ellipse uh, click and drag out an eye again holding shift to make sure it stays in proportion and I'm gonna give it a nice color then move it over here onto the actual robot that color is really not doing it for me, so I'm going to double click on this uh, fill area down here in the actual toolbar itself. And that's going to open this color picker. And I'm going to go with something brighter that stands out a little bit less. There we go. That works much better. Now, rather than create another one and try to get it to the exact size, all I'm going to do, I'll push in a little bit so you can see, is just copy this one. I can do this on the keyboard doing. Uh, command C and Command V or I can go up here into the menu and do edit copy and then edit paste and then I just move that up to match I can click one hold shift and select the other to select them both at the same time and that way I can move them to kinda line them up so now I have my basic setup for the robot uh, the next thing I'm going to build for him are actually his arms, which are going to come down at an angle here. So I'm going to click and hold and select the rounded rectangle tool. And I'm going to drag one out that looks just like this. I might make it a little bit longer. There, there we go. Uh, obviously, it's not the right color right now. I want it to be the same color as the body, but since I made the eyeballs last, that's the color that it went to automatically. It's fairly easy to fix. As long as I have this arm selected, I can go over here to the toolbar to the eyedropper tool, bring it over to the body here to the color I want to match, and if I click that, it will change it automatically. Now the th next thing I'm going to do with this arm is rotate it. If I take my arrow tool and I select it, I can go outside the corner, not in the corners to hit the scale, but outside the corner to where you get this curved cursor and using that I'm gonna rotate it and I can rotate to any degree I want or I can hold shift while I'm doing that and just rotate to 90 degree, 45 degree so on and so forth. I'm actually gonna do 45 degree and I'm gonna put it over here like this. Now this is where it gets a little bit challenging and we had to walk through the most complex portion of this. There is an additional tutorial video on using the Pathfinder, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. I'm just going to show you, in essence, how to accomplish what I want. What I want is a gap here between the body and between the arm itself. So I'm going to cut a piece off of this. In fact, for the time being, just to make this simpler, I'm going to change the color of it so we can really see what's happening. What I need to do in order to make this happen is to 
create another shape and then use that shape to cut through it. And let me demonstrate. I'm going to go back up here and select the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw out a rectangle and I'll make it a bright color so we can really see what I'm doing. Once I have it, I'll take my arrow and move it. And I'm going to cover up everything that I want to cut off of this arm I've created. I'll zoom in so you can really see. If I hover over the arm, you can see where the outline comes in and exactly how much I'm going to remove. So if I select this green one and I hold shift and select the arm as well, my Pathfinder tool, which I already have out here in expectation of using it, I go down to the minus front option. If I hover over it, it gives me the name. And when I select that, it cuts through the arm, leaving only the part that was still exposed. Now I can do what I did earlier with the eyedropper to change the color and I have the arm itself. Next thing I'll do is the same as I did with the eye really is copy and paste. I did it on the keyboard that time. Command C, Command V and then I'll go up to Object, Transform and Reflect. I'll hold it here for a minute so you can see. Select that and it will open this dialog box all that really matters here is that you go down to the preview checkbox and just make sure that it's doing what you want it to. If it's not, you can change your settings up here. Uh, but really, uh, this is fairly simple to use. I just want to make sure it's turning it the right direction, and it is. So once I've done that, I'll take it over here and move. The next thing that we're going to do is build a couple of feet for him. And we're going to do that using the same basic shapes that we have already with, the, with one addition. First I'm going to go to a rounded rectangle and I'm going to draw it out. Next I'm going to click and hold and go to the polygon tool which we have not used yet. All right, If I click and drag it out you can see that it's a hexagon. I'm still holding it. I haven't released yet to actually create the shape. Uh, what's interesting about this tool is I can actually increase or decrease the number of sides just by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. I'm hitting up and down on the arrow keys. If I bring it all the way down, I can get a triangle, and that's what I want. If I hold shift, in fact, it will keep that triangle straight across the bottom, which is also what I want. See that perfectly clean horizontal line? I don't want it at an angle like this. I want it completely straight. So I hold shift, and Illustrator does that for me. I'll just go ahead and release it here, and then move it down. Now what I'm going to do is resize it to get it to fit the purpose that I want something like that. I'll click and move it over make sure it's nice and flush with the bottom and now I have a robot foot. Same thing here you notice I can click and drag over these two elements copy and paste and then object transform reflect. Move it into position and there we have the basic structure of his body. There's only one more thing to add and it's fairly simple. I'm trying to move these up and they're being a little argumentative. All that's left to add are the antennae on the top of his head and we're going to do that using the rounded rectangle tool. If I draw it out and I keep it really thin it actually gives the appearance of a rod. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to turn it about, oh, I'm going to rotate it to about a 30 degree angle. Just going to keep it fairly rough there. And then copy, paste, object, transform, reflect. Photoshop will actually help me kind of line these up. Again, not going to be perfect, but just in the ballpark area. And there you have it. There's the basic figure, the little robot figure, that you can make using just basic shapes and the Pathfinder tool. So altogether, uh, honestly, I do this in both Illustrator and Photoshop as a tutorial, build the same figure. And it is much easier to do in Illustrator because Illustrator is really, really handy with basic shapes.